So what's up guys, it's Technology Hell back here. Welcome back to another video. And in my today's video, we are gonna tweak our AMD Radeon software. So you can see here in my AMD Radeon software, this is the basic one, which is installed from the AMD Adrenaline setup, after which you get this sort of an interface in your Radeon software. These are your graphics drivers and your graphics utility tools. But to be honest, this is not the complete AMD software which you need to have on your system. Previously, the AMD software came embedded with lots of features, for example, the AMD Relive, live streaming, in-game overlay, color filters, and lot more, which made it somewhat comparable to the NVIDIA GeForce experience, which is well known for instant replay recording, broadcasting, and in-game filters. So today we are gonna tweak our AMD Radeon software and make it capable of all those features and then we are going to have the full potential withdrawn out of the drivers. So without wasting much time, let's begin straight with the video. Changes. So just move over to your task manager, go to the section of processes and check the section of background process. Whatever you find related to AMD, simply right click and end the task for the program. Scroll down and you will find more Radeon processes, end them as well. Once all Radeon related stuff are gone, just check your taskbar, the Radeon driver should get hidden by now. Now you gotta follow the link in description and download this archive, size is around 112 MB. Once downloaded, open it and extract this folder called CNext out of it. Once done, get this folder, right click and cut, move over to your drive C, program files, AMD, CNext and there you will find a folder named CNext. Rename that folder to CNext Backup. It is very rare that it won't work, but still you should keep a backup for yourself. And then simply right click and paste. So the new folder for CNext has been placed here. That's it, move over and run your AMD Radeon software once again. So you can see the logo for the Radeon settings have changed. So just access your Radeon settings and there you can see the new user interface of the Radeon settings. Then you get your Radeon Relive which is the best feature among all. Just switch it on and there you have lots of things. Game streaming, live streaming, recording and scene setup for your games. So this will help you stream your games to some other device. For example, it can be a Chromecast. You can stream your games to other platforms. For example, YouTube, Twitch or Mixer. You can record your games as a normal video and you also have option to record instant replay. You can just adjust your duration for the instant replay which you want to use set your resolution and stuff for your recording and you are good to go. Move over to your global settings, turn on Relive, turn on desktop capture, set your location where you want to save your recordings and there are some other shortcuts which you can just keep in your mind. So the primary feature which we are going to use is the AMD Relive. So you just got to switch it on and enable your desktop capture and you are good to go. Now you can just press the hot key that says toggle toolbar, press Alt Z on your keyboard and there you have your Radeon overlay which has tons of options in it. You have your Relive where you can save your instant replay. You can set the duration for your instant replay from here recordings. It can be 2 minutes, 3 minutes and up to 20 minutes. It is better to keep it around 2 minutes because that's the best suited one. Then you have your recording options. You can easily record your desktop and whatever that comes on your screen. It is not gonna impact your RAM usage nor your CPU load. You can stream your games onto another platform like YouTube or Twitch. Then you can take screenshots and you have some more settings for example turning on your microphone for AMD recording, turning on your instant replay, in-game replay, instant GIF, record desktop, camera position that means you can put your camera overlay on your recordings and a lot more. Then you have FRTC. Then you have your performance indicator which acts as an overlay on the top left or top right whichever side you want to use it. You can just set up the settings what you want to measure and then everything will be shown up on your screen. Then the best part, you have got your display that acts as the NVIDIA color filters. So the people who are looking out for color filters in their games, you can of course use this thing. All you need to do is to turn up your game and then simply adjust the color settings according to your requirements. You have your saturation, contrast, hue and brightness. Just adjust it according to your requirements in the game so that whenever you turn on your game, it will automatically pick up the color profile that you have created and as soon as you turn the game off, the color profiles will be gone. So you can just customize all these settings according to your preference and requirements and then simply use it for your purpose. So that's all for this video, I've shown you how can you change your Radeon software's user interface to the one that comes with lots of features packed in it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos every week. Thanks for watching.